These murders are the work of a vampire. Don't be so silly. Blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. Okay, maybe he's onto something. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to Vampire. Let's go save the hospital, which has which has uh, developed a mild case of uh, vampiritis. Um it would seem that the man we brought in, oh. We're getting that out of the way early today, are we? Good. All right. Um it would seem the man we brought in, Mr. Hampton, uh was in fact a big old vampire. Uh, he's attacked some people, including the lady nobody liked, who was all like slutty little sores. Uh, and now he's hiding out there. So we're going to go find him and uh, murder him. Not murder him, kill him. Murder kill. New dialogue is available with Lady Asprey. Let's go uh, see what she has to say for herself. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. Oh no, it's Sean Hampton. Oh no, I liked him. Oh, that's a, a genuine shame. I thought it was someone else. Hello. Oh, that is quite a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. Fucking hell. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. What can you tell me about the recent events in the hospital? That Mr. Hampton killed Miss Jones in her room, then ran away. And did you see all this? No. I was working by the tents when it all happened. I only entered the room when they asked me to clean up the blood. Damn. Where's the body? Where is Miss Jones's body? I don't know. I'd imagine the morgue. It all happened so quickly. Well, that doesn't sound good. We should probably keep an eye on where that body is, lest she become a vampire in turn. Did you see Sean Hampton leave the hospital? I think I saw a silhouette exiting the hospital gates after the shouting started. At first I thought it was someone who was just scared, but well, maybe it was him. This all seems very flimsy, actually. Uh, thank you, Nurse Brannigan. I'm going to carry Goodbye, on. Goodbye, Nurse. Call me if you need assistance. We're going to look into this a little bit more thoroughly, I think. Uh, where was her room? Yes, well, that's a convenient mark. What on Whoa, earth happened here? Okay. I can talk to Lady Ashbury. But yeah, that's a lot of blood. A lot of blood. Oh, that mattress is not absorbent. Gosh, that must make it very easy to clean. We'll have that back on the ward in no time. What did you see, Doris Fletcher? Ooh, Sappho, is it? Mm. Um, okay. It'll be good to talk to some other people. You man. Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. Okie dokie. Please tell me... Well, let's ask about him. Did you serve for long? Where were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. Fair enough. No offence. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. Touche. No offense. None taken. Uh, medical checkup. Soldier, do you need assistance? I'm fine. Just do something for this pain, will you? That's all I'm asking. Okie dokie. Uh, talk to me about recent events, please. Can you tell me anything about recent events at the hospital? Before the shouts and the noises, I think I heard whispers coming from the stairs. Two voices. Maybe more. Did you recognize the voices? What did they say? I couldn't hear. Sounded like they were arguing or something. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Well. Damn. The pain. It's here again. I wonder. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Hello. <laughs> What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? 
Everybody's afraid. Death has always been a frequent visitor. But murder? How can we cope with that? Good As a nurse at this hospital, it is your duty to deal with these things as best you can. Yeah. Until it's my turn to have blood spread all over the walls. I entered the room first, Dr. Reed. Okay. I've seen what that monster did to the woman. Uh, please tell me more. Please tell me more. What can you... Uh, what nope. Can, uh, yeah. Okay, don't make a relive it a fourth time. Goodbye, nurse. I'd love, I'd love to know more about this. If there's two people been talking, let's talk to this one. That's, uh, she's always fun. Good evening, Miss Howcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Okie dokie. Is there anything you can tell me about the recent commotion here? Many things can happen under cover of night, Doctor Reed. But I took no part in this massacre. But did you see or hear anything? I can't say I did. But the smell of fresh blood almost made me faint, Doctor. There's loads of it in the bedroom if you want to just... If you want to have any. I'll, I'll leave you, me. Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Okie dokie. So, mm, I'm just a little bit worried that there's a lot more to this than... Ah, hello. Melody. Oh, Jonathan, I cannot believe my eyes. Poor woman, butchered by some savage scal. Can we share this meal? Wow. Um. Fuck it, I'm going to ask it. It's too funny, it's too weird. Would you care to partake in this meal with me? Jonathan, how could you say such a thing? Forgive me if I feel despondent. But there seems to be no end to the suffering and death that surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. Okie dokie. Have you killed this woman? Have you embraced this woman like the other patient, this Mr. Renfield? Her name was Amelia. And no, I did not kill her. I vowed a very long time ago that I would never take another life unless they asked. What? Is there sufficient vitality in the blood of the sick and dying patients? Yes, Jonathan. The hunger gnaws at me every waking hour. Frankly, I'm starving. Oh dear. Temptation surrounds us. Rich, vital. How can you resist? Over the years, any pleasure I once gleaned from feeding is long gone. Oh. I drink for sustenance. And though I still thirst for more, I restrain myself. You're edging. Got it. Do you know of Ascalon? What do you know of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel, stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? He was f flipping huge, he was. He was bigger than a man. Huge, in fact. He seemed to radiate violence. I thought he was going to tear me apart. Then he vanished. Fergal, the executioner of Ascalon. You were fortunate he was not after you, but rather out doing his master's bidding. Okay, what is Ascalon then? What is Ascalon? The Ascalon Club are the most powerful vampires in Britain and exert tremendous influence. Ah, Tories! Take my advice and stay well away. Shall do. All right. Thank you, my lady. I hope to see you again soon. I'm just a little bit worried about the two voices on the stairs before the attack. What if this isn't all it's, it seems to be, and I go kill Sean Hampton? I guess if Sean Hampton's a scout, then I should do him in anyway. But what if we're missing something? Hello, Gav. Hello again, Mr. Blight. I'm happy to see Mr. Thatcher is safe for now. I'm eternally grateful, Doctor. We were total strangers, and you helped us anyway. Can't thank you enough, sir. Let's talk about your phobia of rats. What caused your phobia of rats, Newton? It happened last year following an artillery attack. I was trapped for two days in a hole under two dead soldiers. And there were rats. Go on. They started eating me as soon as I dozed. 
gnawing at my ears, my fingers, lips. Oof. Couldn't move. Couldn't call for help. I see. No, you don't. You have no idea what it is to wake up buried under bodies. Fucking vermin eating your flesh. Oswald. He found me and saved me. Bloody hell. Yeah, fair enough. I really... It gets me every single time. I kind of wish every time you asked one of these questions there wasn't a... <laughs> and a sudden change to Jonathan's voice. Because it sounds like he's using thaumaturgy to yell at these people and to compel them to answer him. And when it's something like, tell me about this traumatic event that led to your phobia of rats, it doesn't fit brilliantly. Go to the Pembroke Hospital. You are always welcome at the Pembroke Hospital. As a former officer, I'll be honored to welcome a fellow veteran. I'm not giving up on bringing Oswald back to the hospital. I just need to convince him that he needs some help. Perhaps he needs to reach that decision by himself. Mm -hmm. Could you speak to him? He doesn't usually listen to doctors. Yeah, sure, why not? But perhaps because you've been through it, you can talk him round. Yeah, all right. Why do you stay here now that Mr. Thatcher's back? It's complicated. Since the war, Oswald's been really nervous with the idea of entering any hospital. Uh -huh. And me, I've got my own issues. With rats. You speak about oh. Rats, sir. Yeah. Even seeing one, they turn me. Just want to run. It's that fear that stopped me from going after Oswald when he left. Tell me about the war. What can you tell me about the war, Mr. Blight? If you want to speak about it, of course. War was... Well, you know, sir. The stench of death everywhere. Your mates lying bleeding in the mud. Just praying to make it through and get home. Bloody nightmare. You knew Oswald before. Did you know Oswald Thatcher before the war? No. We met in the battlefield. I think we were in the same boat to France. We've stuck together ever since. I fought in France, too. I served as a field surgeon, but it was not uncommon to repel an assault, especially at night. Yeah. The first time I was wounded, I had to protect the infirmary from hostiles. Twice. Woofed. Well, thank you, Newton. That seems like a lot. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself. It must have been... The cognitive dissonance of coming back after World War I must have been enormous. Being like, oh, I can just sort of wander around again and I don't have to fight for my life on a daily basis or fear shelling, etc, etc. It's just wild. Port Blue, Fraubourg, oh, for fuck's sake, lads. Piss off. Fancy clothes. This one's at the top. This one's it tough. Ow, fuck off. Fight the man. You know this song. Blood curse the man. Oh, 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 bloody hell. It was that easy, was it? Oh, there I was getting into um, a comfortable rhythm. Bite the man, blood curse the man. Get skewered by the man. Okay, well, we'll, we'll try and make it safely now to the docks. Or maybe we, oh, maybe we don't have to go up on the bridge. Can we just... Yeah, we can take another way across. Alright, that's cool. Good, good. Good, good, good. Hello! Yes, 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 there you are. Yep. Fight the skull. Club the skull to death. Little bit of autophagy as a treat. Up we go. Around we go. Oh, what's, the, oh, what's in the bin? And there are still some men here. We'll blood curse that one straight up. Oh shit! Oh, for fuck! Oh, I wish it wouldn't. I really wish it wouldn't. 
For fuck's sake, fight the man. Little bit of autophagy. Hit the man. Ow. Dodge. Am I am I rusty or is the camera just being a right fucker this week? Probably both. Ow to Feiji! So you can play that game, dickhead. Fight the man! Clobber the man! Kill the man! Bit more autophagy. Blood curse the man! Batter the man! Oh! Fight the man! And blood cast the man. Okay. Once again, was it worth it, fellas? Ooh, thank you for the grease, though. Wait, did I even need to? Yes, I did need to. Okie dokie. Don't worry, Sean, I'm coming. Fight the man. Blood curse the man. Owie. Fight the man. These buttons are tough. Clobber the man. Dodge the man. Blood curse the man. Hit the man. Fight the man. Clobber the man. There we go. Time to dive in the bin, like the tough I am. Thanks for the screws and grease. Ooh, shillings. Shillings. Right then. Pickpocket the man. Ah! Oh, this door's been unlocked. Nice. Limehouse Dock. It's a Limehouse Dock. You a bad man? Oh god, I was gonna hit you. It's nothing to do with the wet boots. It's Boo for wet boot. Good evening, sir. Who the fuck are you? Don't you see I'm busy here? Dr. Jonathan <laughs> Reed, that's who I am. And who are you? Ah, some fancy gentleman we've got here. Clear off. We don't want strangers on our streets. So you won't tell me your name then? The name is Booth Digby. Maybe I'll ask my boys to break one or two of your bones, just so you remember it. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna eat you one day. Are you some kind of vigilante patrolling these streets at night? Something like that, but the police aren't in charge here. We are, see? Oh, all right then. You are a concerned criminal. So you're a concerned criminal, is that it? Using funny jokes about me and my boys, are you? Fuck. You must have some balls. <laughs> I saw many men like you during the war, Mr. Digby. Greedy little cockroaches who feed on despair. I could kill you for saying that. But, nah. You've been a soldier. I can respect that. Yeah, all right. What about their legs? I don't need those. So, tell me about your gang, then. What? Have you got a death wish? You really want me to answer that? Yeah, go on. Yes. You seem so proud of your status. Why not tell me who you're working for? Oi! I'm the boss, all right? The wet boot boys work for me. All right. All of them. Situation round here is better than other districts because of us. Because of me. Right. What can you tell me about this part of town? Things ain't that bad, thanks to us. We give people what they need, and we control this borough. Well, you're not doing a very good job. People are still dying here, like everywhere else. Yeah, well, we can't be everywhere all the time. And Edwina says if we can find more guns, we could be more efficient. More efficient? Really? You should probably tell Edwina that guns are useless against diseases and infections. Incredible. You know what? You're lucky she can't hear you right now. She's more smart than patient. My sweet queen of the docks. Sorry, yeah, who the fuck is she? Right. 
personal questions. Damn it. All right, I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Let's bellow it at him. Do you know oh, where right. I can find Sean Hampton? I need to talk to him. The sad sight. Why on earth do you want to talk to him? He was one of my patients at the Pembroke Hospital. Oh, yeah. I heard the poor bastard had been abducted by some cat. You, you better ask Tom Watts. He knows Sean Hampton well. Now, do you need a medical assistance? Do you need medical help, sir? I feel fine, Dr. Reed. All right. Nice. Goodbye, Mr. Digby. Mr. Digby. Who are you, then? Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? It's Edwina. I told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I ain't paying any bill left by clay. I'm not here to collect payment, miss... Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want, then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? Let's see. Personal questions. What about your feelings for Booth Digby? Let's go straight in with that. Booth Digby looks at you with love-struck eyes. Tell me, Edwina, is the feeling mutual? You have no idea how refreshing it can be for a woman to receive all the pleasure she needs. For once. Hmm. I'll take your word for it. What is it, Doctor? A woman's not supposed to talk about these things. I'm not that easily shocked. I'm not that easily shocked, Miss Cox. Mm. You can speak freely about your lover, if you so wish. The poor bastard is good to me, if you must know. He makes me feel good. And that's a first. So you're just like any other couple, after all, are you not? Yeah, we're so ordinary that I'd put a bullet in his head if he ever cheated on me. Heavens! A new hint available. Well, well, well. Tell me about your work. What can you tell me about your work? I'm a businesswoman. I buy and sell things. And I send my wet boot boys after anyone who don't play nice with me. Gang member and shopkeeper. Can't be easy running double shifts. If you're interested, I may find use of a doctor who can freely walk across the city, you know. You're quite a blunt woman. You're quite blunt, aren't you? I like people who know what they want and say what they think. This is a time of great opportunity for those ready to embrace their destiny. Well, that's one way of looking at it, isn't it? I am not at all interested. I'm not interested in a career in the criminal underworld, Miss Cox. Fair enough. Stay away from us, then, if you don't want to get hurt or worse. Since my return from the war, I don't feel that concerned by threats, knives, or even bullets, if you must know. That's exactly what that stupid trade unionist claimed after he attacked one of us. Booth and I reminded him a bullet beats words every time. So, oh, you've just admitted to murder in front of me, eh? What can you tell me about this part of town? You can't trust anyone around here. As soon as you lower your guard, you can be sure some arsehole will take advantage of you. You thinking of someone in particular? You sound like you're thinking of somebody in particular. Take the grave diggers of Suffolk. They must pay me every week, but it looks like they forgot who gave them permission to steal from the dead. Looting corpses in a mass grave. That's... That is a new low. Whatever. Hey, since you're a doctor and all, maybe you can access that forbidden area and remind those bastards what they owe. Really? Don't you think that's a little bit excessive? Bastards. All of them. <laughs> This region only responds to violence and threats. Hey, the blab bastards! Personal questions. About the man you killed. Tell me about the man you and Booth killed, Edwina. The bastard killed one of us and received retribution. There's nothing else to say. Bastard! What happened exactly? I don't know and I don't care. One of ours was killed by that communist bastard. But he didn't brag for long. So you have no idea what really happened. But you executed him anyway. No one messes with the wet boot boys, Doctor. This is our territory, and this is our law. Bastard! <laughs> and your conscience is clear. You kill without hesitation. Violence is an efficient tool, Doctor Reed, when used properly. So you decide who lives and who dies, just like that? Yes, Doctor. Just like that. I'm not saying it's fair. I'm saying it's my way of dealing with troublemakers. 
All right, medical checkup time. Can I offer you my medical help, Miss Cox? I'm fine, thank you. All right. Let's see if she's got anything fat. Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. A gun? Nah, bullets though. Common handle part, tiny common handle part. Nyeh, I don't need any of this right now. Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, Dr. Reed. Hello. What do you want? Bastard! I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? The sad saint? I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. <laughs> Ask them, they must know something. Okie dokie. Goodbye, Miss Cox. Bastards! on Hampton's location. Can we go bother? I was going to say, can we go bother Booth Digby? But he's uh, he's gone. Mark my words, miss. These murders are the work of a vampire. Don't be so silly. Blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. Okay, maybe he's onto something. <laughs> creatures. A vampire hunter. You best be off to your hunting then. For if the sewer dog is back and hunting all these poor folk, he needs to catch him. A sewer dog? What's it look like? It's an old story. A monster with daggers for teeth and icy claws. He comes of a sudden, nighttime, claiming innocence, then vanishes. Teeth? Claws? Murders by night? Your sewer dog is my business. He's the kind of prey I hunt, m'lady. Come here then, Ichabod. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? Really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist, and they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. I don't mean to be mean to Ichabog Throgmorton. But between his ears and the sort of waxy complexion he has and the way his mouth moves, he seems a hell of a lot like Wallace from Wallace and Gromit. Watch this. Cracking cheese, Gromit! What can you tell me about Here it this comes. Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? <laughs> oh boy. It's a shame I wasn't around to protect him. It's impossible to protect everyone. The violence seems endemic in this part of town. But it's my duty! I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. These evil rodents are spreading like a plague. They're spreading like a plague, Gromit. We've got to stop these evil rodents. So, how exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night, investigating anything unusual. I try and encourage people to stay indoors, but people are careless. Okay. How do you identify a vampire, given that you're talking to one and haven't twigged? How do you identify a vampire? It's simple, really. They can't stand daylight. They're afraid of garlic and holy symbols. And they also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures? Yourself, I mean. Of, of course I have. <laughs> what kind of question is that? It's a dirty business, believe me. Yes, well... Need any help? Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. I plan to put up posters to alert the population to the vampire threat. Are you asking me to paste posters about vampires around the docks? If you wouldn't mind. If you did that, then I can focus on my patrols. No, I won't be doing that. Medical checkup. Do you need my medical attention, sir? I appreciate your concern, but I'm perfectly fine. Thank you. Bit of cheese wouldn't go wrong. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint? 
He should be at his night asylum at this hour. But I cannot tell you how to find it, sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there... They have plenty of reasons to hide. Who could help me find Sean? Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. He's a bartender and good judge of character. If he talks to you, then it's fine by me. Tom Watts. I could make you tell me, but I respect your refusal. You really believe Sean is a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was a child, he was molested. By a priest of all people. Funny thing is, though, it only strengthened his faith. Well, that was cheerful, wasn't it? Oh, great, we'll go ask Sean about that right off. Christ alive. Thank you, Ichabod. Goodbye. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. That was a fun joke, because we are a vampire. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Whatever. Oh, fuck off, Dyson. We met a few nights ago. Don't take it personally. I spent a lot of energy forgetting what I did the night before. Yes, you had definitely drunk too much then as well. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Dyson Delaney. I'll try to remember you this time. You won't, though. No. Medical check -up. aside, do you need medical help? Yes. I feel sicker than usual these days. Give medicine. Take this, then. And perhaps you could try to slow down the alcohol intake, too. Hey, Doc, you don't really want me to stop the only remedy I can afford. All right, then. Well, enjoy the fatigue remedy. Dyson. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? I really don't know. I heard he'd been abducted, and I don't know if he's back. Who could tell me, then? About the sad saint. I'll try asking Tom Watts about him. Tom Watts, we'll ask Tom Watts. Bye, Goodbye, Dyson. Mr. Delaney. I would make it love to that beautiful bottle. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You yep. remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Hey. Welcome back, Doctor. Medical check. Do you need any help? I'm all right, Doctor Reed. Oh, I thought you needed some. Anyway. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. He was. Did he leave or something? I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Mm -hmm. oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Oh, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. That would explain his faith and need to help everyone. Okie dokie, let's find him quickly. The important thing is I find him quickly. Uh. Why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Okie dokie. Unfortunately, I feel he might be making a meal of the other people here. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Cheers, Mr. Watts. Now, in this district, who we got? Dyson Delaney's recovering. Uh... Everyone else seems healthy. What happened to the um, the barmaid? Was she in a different district? Clay Cox? Oswald. Yes, she lives in a different district, doesn't she? Which one was it? I still haven't found Darius Petrescu, which is worrying. Ah, but Palma. Ah, well. Look, we'll find him when we find him. You cannot see me now, Mum. Oh. Oh, no, wait, there she is. I just as 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 away from this place as I can. Hello! Did you need medical Where attention? That's a first. Customers who make that much mess rarely come back. Never mind in fancy togs. Hello! I'm much more myself than when we first met. By the way, I'm Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome back to the Turquoise Turtle, then, Doctor. I'm Sabrina Cavendish. How can I help you? 
it's me who can help with you. Do you require medical assistance, Miss Cavendish? I'm fine, sir. No. Just have too much work on and not enough sleep. Well, that sounds like you could do... No, okay. Well, I'm not going to offer you a remedy for... Let's ask her anyway about Sean. Miss Cavendish, would you be willing to help me locate Sean Hampton? You better ask Tom, sir. Yeah, Why yeah. not answer me directly? We respect the privacy of our customers here, sir. Only Tom can decide who to speak to and what he'll say to them. All right, fair enough. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. Bye-bye-bye. Right, so, west along the bank and then north when we reach the pier. But that doesn't really... Okay, well... West along the bank. Hey, no, that's not north when we reach the pier. I mean, this is the pier, and that's north, but it doesn't appear... Ah, there we go. ...to be any way to go, unless you can teleport like a vampire. I'll take it, but I'm confused by the directions we were given by that barman! I might leave them all to it. I'll be perfectly honest with you. Bye, lads. You've bitten off more you can chew there. More, more you can chew. Bitten off more than, than you can chew. Jimmy the Spark. Bard. Well, this seems more our speed. Let's go kill some pre-wendings. like the god of pre Oh, tits. Jimmy the Spark. Wonder why they call him next. Ow. Tits. Ow. Bit of autophagy, maybe, Johnny? Ow, 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 ow. Fuck off. Die, vermin. Fucking hell, he's effective. Fuck! I'm dead. Yeah, turns out a flamethrower is very useful against a vampire. Um, maybe I should swap to a gun? I don't really like using ranged. Let's try, let's just try being a bit better at that. Shall we? Yeah, we're still not going in there. We'll let that situation sort itself out. Right. Ow! Ah, oh, you little dickhead. Right, so the range is limited there, isn't it? Die, vermin! Shut up. Fuck off. Look, I'm trying to eat a man. I'm trying to bite someone. Oh, don't do this to me. Oh, this is going very... Die, vermin! Fuck. Okay, this is tough. I need blood, is the problem. Blood for autophagy, and then I can just dive in and out of his range. Okay. Alright, we can do this. Just need some blood. Are there any rats I can eat? Die, Vini. Right, let's have a look at let's have a look at what I got on me as well. Where's it gone? Here we go. Main hand off hand light regeneration serum. Oh, okay. Well, that's useful. That's very useful. Forty-five damage does the is the revolver. But that does hundred and ten damage per hit. We used hacksaw does sixty-five and is quite quick. Tell you what, fuck it. We'll use the hacksaw and the revolver. And we'll just see how far we get with that. We can always swap back if we want to. Another disgusting ghoul did it. Over there! 
Oh yeah, that's quite useful actually. Oh fuck off. Fuck. It's getting more blood on board. That's the trouble. I should have uh, syringed. Okie dokie. Well, that had promise, I feel like. Maybe. Hmm. 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 What I need to do is eat a citizen. So I can level up properly. Okay. Maybe I should go in there. No, no I shouldn't. Oh, tits. Well, it's after me now anyway. Hold on. Okay, well, if we're going to fight this thing as well, I want the cudgel for that. Ow. Oh my god, you're strong. Oh. Right. <laughs> okay. Maybe we can, though. I fought one of those before. It's so much stronger than me, though. Dare I? It would be quite fun. Imagine there's a good chunk of XP in it for us. They all dead? Yeah, they're dead. Okay. Maybe we'll leave it alone. Now, I think I will swap back here to using a gun in the offhand. And the used hacksaw. Maybe if I just pour I 18 rounds into him. Oh yeah, I can go bite him! Fantastic! How do I reload though? How do I reload? Uh oh. No, I mean... Oopsie. Stop it! Oh, you're a bell end. Stay out of his range! Stay out of his range! Cock. Okay, I think I'm onto something here. I think I need to stay just I mean to stay out of his range. Don't forget the serums, which you can use with tea. And shooting him is a good good idea. When you're not actually shooting at him or attacking him. Just fucking don't lock onto him. That's another tactic. This little section of gameplay is bananas though. Like, go fight the big guy with a flamethrower, but before that. He is an obscenely strong beast, like the one you fought before in the sewers. Horrible. Okay. Discipline here, Johnny. You're going to stay out of the range. You're going to do chip damage. Like, you're going to do very small amounts of damage to the various dudes who are coming down. Bite them when you can. Don't forget your syringes. You can do this. Because, look. You're a really good shot. Do bite him, because that's very useful. There we go, look. Right, and we stay out of the range. We stay out of the range. There we go. We stay out of the range. Reload while we can. Fuck. Reload properly. That's it. There we go, look. Where's he gone? Shoot the big man. There's a lot of you, though. Syringe, syringe! Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, that's all your syringes now. Oh, 
This foe is beyond me. Right, we're out of bullets now, so let's swap back to the cudgel because we can. And it does big old damage. He's not even half dead, is he? Come on, let me bite you. Let me bite you. Let me bite you. Thank you. That's huge. Fight the man. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, right, we go again. Oh, he's quick, though. Right, we've got an autophagy in the bag. Or rather, we've managed to do one. Ow, Christ. Fuck, he's so quick. Oh, hey, I'm... Um... Oh, tits, I'm in trouble. Shit. Oh, where'd you come from? Fight the man, fight the man. Autophagy! Autophagy! Fuck! Oh no! Fuck off! Fuck, fuck, fuck. Locking on is just not the one. That's nails! Absolutely nails. We might need to level up some more before we do this. Oh, God. All right. Maybe a quick weapon is just the right thing to be using. You know, like, a used hacksaw is very fast. Oh, no! We've still got sod all ammo. Okay, well. Okay, all right, well, let's just see what we can do. I think I'm gonna ignore the goons. I'm gonna ignore the goons. I'm going to try and ignore the goons. Okay, let your stamina recover, Johnny. Ooh, actually staying close to him is working quite nicely. Oh my god, the camera's going absolutely bananas, but... Oh, stop it, stop that. The camera really hacked me off then, it really fucked me off. Being close to him was quite useful though. Bloody hell, okay. Right, I'm gonna have a couple more cracks at this and if it doesn't work, I'm gonna go do maybe some investigations or something to try and level up, because this is a nonsense. Oof, duh. Oh, that really annoyed me. Because it was a combination of things going well. Are we completely, I've only got four shots left now. Fuck it then. Fuck it, the cudgel. It was, it was going well, and then the camera absolutely went ballistic. It was go I mean, it was going better than it has done, I guess, is what I mean. Because, right. No, this is the thing. I need to actually focus. Right. When I actually focus on one man, it's great. But when the camera keeps pinging uh, between, it's bad. Right, back off. Recover some stamina and some health, please. Camera, please. Camera, please. St 
stop that? Do you really th what? Come on. Right. Right, I need blood again. Okay. Oh, I've used both my syringes. That's no good. Stop it. Stop it. The fucking camera. Why? It's so it should be so obvious who I'm after. Stop it. Right, I believe I can do this fight. I genuinely do. I also believe that the camera is a bollocks. An absolute bollocks. An absolute bollocks. Where's that? Right, where's that fucking stake that lets me stun people? Oh, I'm pissed off now. I am quite pissed off now. Right. Hacksaw, yes. Offhand weapon. Oh, that takes loads of stamina, though. But it's really useful, isn't it? Is it the Liston knife that can... Blood absorption. Yeah, we're going to take the Liston knife. Right. Right. Oh, I've got no bloody serums now. My light regeneration steer st steerum? Alright. Oh, tits. Oh, fuck. Just run. Just run, Johnny. Let that guy deal with it. Okay. I'm convinced I can do it. But if it turns out, no, I can't. I'll go and do something else and try and level up. See them fancy clothes? This one's tough. This one's tough. Oh, oh, oh my! That's going to be Burn it, boys! Die, leech! Die, manny! Ah, bollocks to this. Oh, okay. All right. It's really annoying. It's really annoying. It's really annoying. Okay. All right. Cudgel. Equip the cudgel. That'd be great if we could eat some people. How strong's our mesmerize now? Is there anyone we can eat? Two. Is there anyone around here we could actually eat? Five, four... <coughs> Dyson Delaney. Ah, oh, only 500 XP. He's not worth it. He's just not worth it. Clay Cox isn't worth it. Oswald I wouldn't do that to. Dr. Tippett's? Oh, I'd happily eat Dr. Tippett's, but our mesmerize isn't high enough. Thomas Elwood. Harry Peterson's... 700. Tobias Whitaker, that's who I want to eat, but I can't. Not strong enough. Okay. Fine. Fine. You know what? Fine. Where are our investigations? Local investigations. Ghoul diggers. Let's go track some ghoul diggers. Yeah. I'll retrieve Samuel the Disciple in the cemetery. Could do that. No, let's... Let's... Oh. Oh, I'm annoyed. Oh, do we want to go all the way to Southwark, though? Oh, for fuck. Oh, I'm so <laughs> annoyed. Oh. Right. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go to the cemetery. It's all the way fucking well over there. Fine.
Sometimes, with the combat, this game. Feels like it's holding us up kind of unnecessarily, if I'm perfectly honest with you. To the point where I considered just eating a man, just so I could get a bit of XP. Oh, man. Uh, I want some more XP before I sleep. Because only 1800 doesn't feel like loads. But here's some XP, isn't there? It's an inch. Ah! Fuck off. Oh, with the camera again. Oh, fuck off. With... Again! What is with the fucking camera? Oh, piss off. Are you serious? No. 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 I'm not going out like this. Whoops, that was a misclick. Right. Oh, fuck off. I might be going out like this. Oh, are you serious? Oh, piss off. Right, come here. Right. I'm not done for, but I am quite annoyed. Do you in is what I'm gonna do. Shitting hell. Ugh. Rubbish. At least I got a bit of XP. More of you. Pre when bastards. Get up. Get up, you coward. I will destroy you. Fuck off. I'll get to leveling up XP if I have to kill every pre-wen bastard in town. Oh, I'm an angry little vampire now. Who's next? Oh. Eh. Yeah, you can all deal with that. Bye. It seems the Prewin are redoubling their patrols in the district. Seems that way. I must be more careful. Probably. Okay. Alright. Well, at least we're not far from the cemetery. Oh, I'm genuinely annoyed. I'm genuinely quite annoyed. Anyway, it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. The game's just got right under your skin, that's all. Oh, it's going to be delicious when we kill that flamethrower-wielding bastard. But for now, we shall have to re retrieve Samuel the Disciple. I'm doing this as a way of trying to get... Oh, critical in Black Wolf Alborg, is it? trying to get closer to the to the to the man the stupid man so i can destroy him by eating him who who am i talking about the man the priest man i'm going to i'm going to eat him i'm going to eat him i'm helping him out so that i can get closer to him and then eat him speaking of eating things come here nom, 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 nom. this is this oh shush 
Hello. Oh, we, uh, if you could just keep your focus on one man. Just one. That's literally all I asked. That would be tremendous. That would just be splendid. Would you fucking... It's simple, Jonathan. You hit the man within range. Just hit that man. Hit that one man. Good Christ. I don't I haven't changed any settings or anything. I've not I've not messed with my mouse. I've just What the fuck is going on? I just need the camera to work. That's all I need in this life. Pay attention. Fuck off. Oh my god. Just die. Just fuck off. Come on, bite him to death. Delicious. Right. You have been causing me no end of trouble. Now your trouble is ended. Oh, goodness me. This game, sometimes. Right. Let's go rescue Samuel the Disciple. Hopefully it's not that hard to do. Stone Bridge Cemetery. Critical. Hello, sirs. It ain't you, man. Just hit the man in front of you. What is going on with this? Okay. Is there an option uh, to do with auto lock off? Fuck his boss. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, now it's gonna re it's gonna be revealed that the problem was me all along. Eat this. Eat? No, eat eat you. Good one, Johnny. Okay, that's a bit better, isn't it? We're less annoyed now, aren't we? Right, Disciple Samuel, where are you? Hello? Somewhere. If I were a disciple, where would I be? Hello. Oh my god, it's so much better just locking onto one individual enemy. Ow. Oh, that's so much better. Great. Good. Okay. Retrieve Samuel the Disciple. Hello, sir. Sirs, excuse me. Owie. Oh, fuck off. Watch your stamina, Johnny. That one's all on you, actually. Oh, you're in. You're actually quite hurt. Oh, shit. Watch your stamina. That's what I said. There we go. I completely forgot about parrying as well. Anyway. Ooh, opium. Thank you, Dead Skull. Right. If I were a disciple, where would I be? Apart from inside the red circle. That seems to be a fairly obvious element. Is there like a crypty bit or something? Oh, hello. 
I know there was a crypty bit with the lady we rescued, who was there for her family. Well, we're earning XP at least. must be what it feels like for Buffy when she's like, I'm angry about my emotions, I'm going on patrol. School has been difficult, time to battle vampires. to the bronze. And I'm going to have a non-alcoholic beverage and dance to a grunge band. Where are you? Samuel? Is he like in a crypt? Samuel? Samuel! Maybe I can rescue him by just killing every single thrall. Oh, is he down here? Carnage. Is Father Whitaker's disciple among the bodies, I wonder? This man's far too old to be Samuel. Good lord! No. By the look of his clothes, this man's a docker. That man's a corpse now. Samuel isn't here. I had better follow the blood trail. Hooray! Which blood trail? Oh, this one. Okay. Oh, very annoyed. Oh. As I hear, Samuel no longer preaches the Oh, tits. Right, so Samuel's dead. Or possibly turned? Let's see. Come here. Oh, fuck off. Oh, there he is. Oh, Samuel. You poor sausage. Again. Blood curse the man. Recover some stamina, hit the man, bite the man. Blood curse the man. Recover some stamina, hit the man. Personal diary. <coughs> Personal diary. 12th of October. Father Whitaker is so righteous, so full of compassion and love for the suffering ones. His words are all this city needs. Doubt? He's trying to burn it down, Samuel's corpse. Tonight I gave him all I have. My strength, my faith, my wealth. And if it's not enough, I know where to find more. 17th of October. Father Whitaker and I went to an abandoned house near St. Mary's Church. It was an awful and smelly place. Rats were dis disputing the rooms to the last remaining residents of the decrepit flats. Most of them are sick. Awful, awful odours. On the last floor, Father Whitaker found an old man lying on a dirty mattress, coughing and spitting blood in a wooden bowl. Father Whitaker knelt before him and prayed a long time. The man seemed to feel better. Then we both helped him find the light. I cried then and I cry now as I write these lines, for I've never seen a soul so relieved to be finally redeemed. Father Whitaker is a saint. If it is not presumptuous, nor a sinful expression of pride, I wish I'll be able to save as many souls as he does, for it's a real privilege to witness such miracles. 19th of October. Tonight we both went to the whorehouses boarding the canal. I must admit I was very afraid to cross the path of Jezebel's, but the buildings were abandoned for a long time. 
Whores and infections go together, explained Father Whitaker, but their customers quickly get scared when there is mention of disease. In the last brothel, we found two sick women sleeping together in a sinful attitude under dirty blankets. The odour was awful once more, the smell of Satan and of the disease, explained Father Whitaker, before kneeling and praying for these two lost souls. The women were so frail and sick they were not able to move when I threw the petrol on the blankets. Their souls are now cleansed and cleansed and purified. Jesus Christ. Father Whitaker is a saint. I won't let anyone mock the holy man he is. He shall receive more help and support, but as all the true prophets, he is alone. He needs more from his followers. He needs love and proof of love. Tomorrow I shall go back to the cemetery and unearth more wealth for him. The dead have no need of the terrestrial goods, but we need to eat, Father Whitaker and I. 27th of October tonight. For the first time, it was my turn to lead the round. I chose to return where we went ten days ago to see if any more souls needed to be freed. Father Whitaker approved my choice, since the good man's work is never finished and Satan never sleeps, he explained. He also said if I keep showing so much zeal, he may soon give me more important missions and tasks. I can't wait. Three more souls have been cleansed from any corruption tonight. If it's not presumptuous nor a sinful expression of pride, I dare say we are one. We are on a path to, to greatest. We are one a path to greatest. I think that's on a path to greatness, but sure. Right. He's been burning people. He's killed several sick people. We're going to eat him. We're going to eat him. It's going to be brilliant when we do. Okay. Reports to Father Whitaker. He's somewhere in Whit Chapel. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm just trying to place a marker, actually. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, great. The game's crashed. Well, I hope everyone's ready to see Willem Dafoe again. the man, hit the man. Got it. Okay, we're fine. I'm Colossus Joe on my wet boot boy. Ah, oh, great. Another one of them with a bloody... Reverend Kane. Didn't I already kill the Reverend Kane? I could have sworn I did. Oh, fuck off, Reverend Kane. There's no good news, no. Being stunned with a crucifix is, frankly, a little bit embarrassing, Jonathan. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Mind your stamina, Johnny. I'm not doing well at the old fighting today. Autophagy, please. Okay. You'll pay for that. No, that won't. Look. There we go, look. Oh, no. My comeuppance. Is it here already? It isn't. Right. Onwards. The poet. The poet in Whitechapel. Could we eat him? Can we eat him yet, Richard? No. Nearly, though. Oh, we're going to eat Richard Nethercott, sure enough. But I worry, because Whitechapel's not in a good state. If we eat Richard, we may not have time to eat Father Tobias Whitaker. Okay, well, let's just see what we can do. Okay. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yes, we've got to go find 
Father Whisker. Now then, Father, where have you gone? Are you preaching about fire on the steps as usual? Yes, you are. Gonna eat ya. Gonna eat ya. Is there a hideout near here? There is. Let's see. Hello. Good evening, Mr. Whittaker. It's Father Whittaker, my son. Ooh. So, are you still lost in your rational delusions? Why did you send Samuel to the cemetery, Tobias? Mm. What did you see there? I sent him on a vision. Uh -huh. A dream of a dreadful and laughing queen uh -huh. covered with blood. Sleeping with the dead and feeding on the fear of the dying. I'm gonna eat you. A laughing queen dressed in blood. Tell me more. This epidemic is her feast. The announcement of her return. Mm. Sure. Against her, science is no more than a child's toy. But who is she? She is the mother of harlots and abomination of the earth. She is Babylon, drunk on the blood of the saints. God, that's weird, isn't it? The religious man is blaming all of this on a woman. Hmm. Tobias Whitaker, confess why you burnt those people alive. I have done what no one was ready to do. I will smite the flesh of the unclean to protect the righteous. You are just another heartless murderer, exploiting the epidemic to kill with impunity. No! No. The only way to contain the spread is to strike at the source itself, the proliferating sex. You're just a dignified sadist. You're not the savior of London. You're just a glorified sadist. I take no pleasure in this awful cleansing, Dr. Reed. I am only driven by the thousands of innocents I save each night. Doubt. Okay. I have found Samuel, your disciple. I am afraid I have bad. I already expected the worst. He should already have come back. He is dead, isn't he? Yes. He is now. The epidemic took him. Samuel steadily made donations to our cause. He would have rewarded you himself if you'd found me in that awful cemetery. Please accept this money. 40 shillings, thank you. I have heard enough for tonight. Okay. Goodbye. And we got some XP. We got 150 XP for that. Is that all? Right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to... An unknown event happened. Oh, yes. That's... Oh, no. I know exactly what happened there. We are going to go rest up and evolve. Then, with any luck, our mesmerize... Mes mesmerize... Mesmaz... Will be high enough that we can eat the priest. And then hopefully, what's this again? Oh, it's Harry. No, no. May I come in? Sure. No, I don't want to come in, Harry. Sure. Fuck. Um, hopefully, it doesn't even like. Yeah, all right. Yeah, bye, man. Um, I, I, it's not at this point. It's not even just about eat, beating the spark in combat or whatever his name is. I just want to eat the priest. But hopefully, it will. It will help. Boing. Where's our fucking hideout? There, there it is. Okay, there we go. There we go. I cannot enter. What? This looked, but this is a hideout. What's use as a hideout if we can't hide in it? What? Oh, do we need to clear it first? Well, this is... Well, 
What? Oh, I guess so. Okay. New hideout. We just hadn't rested here before. Okay. Large box of pills. Let's make a couple of serums, please. Lovely. Thank you. I can't make these. Okay. Right, then. Okay. Now, we need to unlock something that's really going to... Right, what is... Okay, ultimates. So let's try one of these. Blood cauldron. Jesus Christ. You focus your power to boil your target's blood, causing it to violently explode, dealing damage to the target and anything nearby. Does 230 damage. Yes, I think we'll be getting that. Let's buy blood cauldron. It'll cost a grand, but I'm into it. Medical bag, cartridge bag, spring, shadow veil. <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe we should just. You know what? <laughs> oh no, we can't afford that. Okay. Just be lovely to get more. Yeah. Maybe we should up our body condition again. Yeah, more health. We're going to need it. 730 XP. What else can we get? Blood capacity. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Not the sexiest of upgrades, apart from the ultimate we unlocked. That seems quite sexy. But, anyway. No. No, don't. Right. Confirm. Set. The following night. I know. I know. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. What happened? What happened? What happened? Tobias Whiskers got fatigue. Ah, oh, mesmerize level still too low. Oh, Whitechapel's actually improved. But Tobias Whitaker is fatigued now. So is Barrett Lewis. Well, we can't have him... We'll cure his fatigue, because it will be good for the district. Um, and then I guess let's just... Let's have a couple more cracks at, your, at the, our fellow... I'm going to make some more of these, just because they're quite useful. Oops. Okay. Alright, fine. <sighs> what the fuck? Very bad at combat this week. Okay. Quinine. Blood as addiction. Vampires drink blood. Yep. This may be the most specific trait, the sinister peculiarity of their condition, if I may say, blah, blah, blah. They really like blood. They're addicted to it. Gives them an ecstatic epiphany. Okay. Sure. Alright, should we go back to... Um... Should we go back to the docks? See what we can do. Oh, we'll, but we'll treat we'll treat the priest. I'm so annoyed our mesmerize hasn't gone up. Oh wait, actually, don't we need like level 5 to mesmerize him anyway? We do, level 5. Who was I thinking about? Oh, we could eat Harry. It's not worth eating Harry. Who was I thinking about? 
Not Dyson. Well, this is annoying. There was somebody I was planning to eat first. Not Sabrina. Sabrina's nice. Oh, Richard. That's right. We're going to eat Richard Nethercott first. Of course we are. Right. Oh, pre one bastards. Bye. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked, all right. Oh, fuck off, father. Oh, let's try, let's try blood boiling it, or whatever it's called. Oh, that was quite good. It wasn't amazing. Ah, Jesus. Uh oh, back up. Need some water, Feiji. Oh. Ow! Fuck you. Right. I'm not interested, sir. We'll have some of your blood, though. Right. Once again, who did that really help? Hmm. Well, can we get Can we get through this gate or not? Was it just Oh. Well, all right. Oh, but that's my hideout. And then if we go the other side of the hideout, we go out the other door. Duh. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Sometimes sometimes I absolutely bloody love this game and then some, epi some episodes it just feels like we're arguing. Right, good, yes, let me out now. Just let me out. Please? Okay. All right. Oh wait, who else can I cure? Joe. Joe's got Joe in his tree here. Colossus Joe! You again. Can I offer you my- Keep you medi- Oh, no. There is a thin line between pride and stupidity, sir. Please, take this medication. You'll feel better. All right. I'll take it then. It's not like I don't appreciate the gesture. Oh, what, Joe? Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry! Thanks, mate. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Oh, I'm going to eat the poet, though. It's going to be brilliant. Good evening. Mr. It's Father Whitaker. I love that we only call him Mr. Whitaker now. Don't you? Faith. You... Shut up. No doubt your faith will prevail. Yeah. But let me give you some extra protection against the devil's work. Medicine. Medicine. Blessed be your generosity. Go fuck yourself. I'm literally only giving you this so that your blood have had enough is use tonight. useful to me later. Why? Don't flatter yourself that I actually care about you, sir. Right. So. Ah! Where are we off to again? Sad saying the East End. Oh, God, it's a fucking... It's a yomp away, isn't it? All right, well, off we go. Okay. All right, Sean. We're a-coming. Am I going to be able to do that alt animation, though, with... <gasps> Darius! Hey, buddy! Good evening, Mr. Petrescu. What are you doing here? I can ask you the exact same question, Mr. Doctor. Now leave me alone. No. How do you feel? I'm going to give Petrescu. you bronchitis medicine. Do you need my help? I would not even accept fresh water from you, Doctor. I don't need your help. Yes, you do. Please, take this. Yep. You'll feel better. I said I don't want anything. But I'll keep this for those who really need it. You better take it, dickhead. Are you living on the streets, Mr. Petrescu? And why not? Those who believe they'll be safe behind walls are blind. Yeah. What about your ass? 
What about your house? My house is always open to any poor soul needing a roof. All my work here is lost now that Dorothea is gone, thanks to you. I'm sorry. This genuinely is my fault. I'm sorry. Why are you so aggressive? I remember the night you came here and convinced me to open my door to you, sir. I'd like to punch you right on your chops. Fair enough. I'm very sorry. I didn't realize she was going to turn into a bloody vampire. What do you plan to do now that Nurse Crane is gone? I'm not sure. Strange men came to see me after Dorothea's death with strange weapons and very odd stories. What kind of stories? Stories all Romanian children know. Uh -oh. It was as if I was home again. Vampires, Mr. Doctor. Vampires. You believe them? Aren't you too old to hold a weapon or listen to scary stories? Yes, I am old and alone and will die soon, but if these stories are true, maybe I have found myself another cause. Probably, Darius. Good luck with that. Bye-bye. Bye, Mr. Petrescu. Bye-bye. Glad I could help with your bronchitis. I'm sorry that you hate me. I completely understand why. Let's just try and put that all behind us. Go away, Elixir lady. I'm perfectly healthy because of my lovely Elixir. Well, I could have eaten a rat then. Oh, well. It's locked, For fuck's all right. Sake. This turn's finished. Oh, I guess we can't go to the West End yet. All right, fine. Over there! It's one of them. Right. Clump, clump, clump. Over there! Bye. -y. One of them no one cares, man. No one cares. Go away. You're not gonna follow me into a fucking hospital, are you? Didn't think so. Right. Okay. Hmm. Thank you for the glass vials. Yep, yep, yep. You again. Like a vampire Lazarus. Right. Now let's see. Up we get. Fight the man to death. Oh! Blood curse the man. No! I accidentally pushed him out of my own radius. Okay. Blood curse the man. Oh, for fuck's sake. Blood curse the man. 
Ow. Oh shit. Autophagy. Oh, quite close. Fight the man. Hit the man. Fuck off. Hit the man. Okay. Right, we're going to have one more decent crack at your man Sparks McFadden, or whatever his fucking name is. Once we've got through this lot, obviously. Oh, piss off. Oh, we love ranged weapons. Get your weapons ready. Um, and then we'll see. Hopefully we'll kill him. But we'll see. Come on. Try next week. It's actually quite useful because it means I'm filling up my blood meter all the way. Whereas a lack of blood was a distinct problem when we tried this fight at the start of the episode. Nearly there now. Can we go this way? Great. Can we do a little teleport? That's not quite where we needed to go. But oh my god! Run away! Oh my god. Okay. Yes, we will be running. No, we'll be running, Jonathan. Put your cudgel away. Yep, absolutely not going that way. We're gonna go the long way round. We're going to open up that hideaway if we can. Fucking hell. Now everything seems under control. More oh. or less. Don't forget to keep an eye out for this guard of yours. It's <laughs> My guess is they're recruiting for some vengeance. Now, you know what? We'll do the hideout next time. Honestly, you take one wrong turn. All these whispers of monsters got home gossip. And all of a sudden, you're surrounded by incredibly high level enemies from both sides of the conflict. It's not fun. Alright then. Here we go. We've leveled up. We've changed the way the game locks onto enemies. We've developed an ultimate attack. Hopefully this will work now. I don't think so. See them this one's a top. Right, just boil his blood. Just boil his blood, mate. Die. Ow, fuck. Oh, this is so much easier now. I can just focus him. Or oh, don't, don't, uh, don't, don't um, get caught in a fucking corner, though, Johnny. Hey, autophagy, my friend. Use a sy use a syringe. Use a syringe. What happened there? It was all going brilliantly. You 
This is hilarious. I got him. I got him. That's hilarious. What the fuck? Why not? Why not? Bit of fun. Oh, he exploded. I cannot believe that. He gave me such a headache at the start of this. The wounds on this corpse are deep. The result of rabid rage. <sighs> Up yours, the spark. Doing. He's become a murderous beast. Oh, well, delightful. Obviously not delightful, but good for me. Fucking take that. Lower Thames banks. Honestly. Maybe I just needed to calm down at the start of this episode. Hello, sirs. <laughs> it's so easy to trip up, you two. Yeah, I'll probably avoid the pre-win, dickhead. Okay. Oh, yeah, pick your pocket. This Your poor pocket. man has just been slaughtered by a vampire. Oh. The body's still warm. Right. Okie dokie. And what do we have here? Is that a lot of bellends? Seems to be a lot of bellends. Let's avoid them. Yeah, we shall. I shall. I'm, no, I'm not. I'm leaving. I'm leaving, sir. Just as you suggested. Bye bye. Not a vampire. Fuck it. Well, that one worked out who I was, so he had to die. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, sneaky, sneaky. Insofar as we're capable. We don't have to fight absolutely everyone. Oh, this looks spooky. Keep that. Night shelter's vicinity. All right. Wasn't even aware that was a thing. Oh, the night shelter, of course. I really hope he's all right, actually. I kind of get the feeling, that no, he isn't. But I would like for him to be... Hello. You seem okay. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. May I have your attention for a minute? Good evening, sir. My name is Giselle Paxton. But I don't have time for men like you. Oh. No, but I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. That's quite judgmental of you. Sir, I've led enough strikes when I had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class. Touché! I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? What is it you want? Does he owe you money? Has he displeased your royal highness? I'm no snitch, Mr. Fancy Pants. He's in danger. You know what? Fine, whatever. Do you need medical help, Miss Paxton? No, thank you. All right. Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Fair enough. Fair play to her. Good evening, Miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the dock. Yes, all right. Not fishy at all. And what about you? Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town. You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. Hello, Lottie. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? Mr. Hampton must be in his office at the night asylum he manages, I suppose. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital, but he left abruptly. I see. Well, Mr. Hampton is a discreet and dedicated man. I'm sure you'll find him soon enough. It, this feels very naive of me, but I kind of... I'm holding out hope that he's okay. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. I'd really like to find out. At least he's not eating everyone who's here. You know what I mean? Hope Giselle will pull through. Is she not well? Burnt letter. Miss Paxton, I recently heard... Hampton shelter for months and... Money support of any kind. Without a positive answer from you, I may be blah, blah, blah. My, my boys always get what they blah, blah, blah. Accepted no for an answer, blah, blah, blah. Keep on refusing to answer me and blah, blah, blah. Wet boot boys, blah, blah. Come, blah, blah, blah. You and your sister. Oh, dear. Lottie Paxton. You okay? 
She's, uh, she's under some pressure. I think Sean's going to be down here. And I hope he's all right. Uh, Sean is not down here. Okay. The wet boot boys are after Lottie. That's it's no locked. It's locked. Okay. Find Sean in the area. Sean! 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 Oh, why the long face, Doctor? Oh, no. Okay, so he is a vampire. It looks like we both have changed a lot. I must confess, it saddens me, Sean. Put your faith in the Lord, Doctor. He has a plan for all of us. We may not always see it, but he does. Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. You killed Harriet Jones. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? So you claim Miss Jones' death was not by your hand, nor the other incidents at Pembroke? Though Harriet was an angry, spiteful woman, she was one of God's creatures. I have nothing but love for all he has made. But you were close to her. Of course. But she was lost. Separated from the fold. She did not see the hand of the divine in my blessed condition. Okay. People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the river bank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. I'm intrigued. Very well. You have definitely intrigued me. I hope you're right, Sean. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I surrender myself to your judgment. I thought there was more to this than just he's gone blah 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 blah. You know? Interesting. <laughs> Thanks for all the shillings. Okay, so Sean isn't doing brilliantly, but he could be doing worse. We're going to get to the bottom of this, and we're going to get to the bottom of this in the next episode of Vampire. Thank you for, um, oh dear. Thank you for sticking with me through this one. At points, it was quite frustrating. Uh, I appreciate that, but we evolved, we adapted, and we killed that dude with a flamethrower, which was very, very satisfying indeed. So, um, yeah. That about does it for this episode of Preston Kiadini, but of course there are lots of previous seasons and all sorts of good stuff for you to watch on the channel, should you be so inclined. There's also uh, my Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. There's a link in the description of this video if you want to check it out. You're willing and able to support me directly through that. It really does make a difference. But uh, also, I just want to say thank you for, for watching, and uh, yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye.